He is known for being a pioneer of the American automotive industry and for inventing the modern assembly line. He is recognized for building the first mass-produced automobile, the Oldsmobile Curved Dash. His name is Ransom E. Bolds. In the early days of the American automotive industry, one name stood out as a true pioneer, Ransom E. Olds. Born with a passion for automobiles, Olds made his mark on history by revolutionizing the way cars were built and manufactured. He claimed to have built his first steam car all the way back in 1887, showcasing his ingenuity and forward-thinking mindset. But it was in 1896 that he truly made waves by constructing his first gasoline-powered car, pushing the boundaries of automotive technology even further. However, it was Olds' groundbreaking concept of the modern assembly line that truly changed the game. He introduced the world to the idea of mass production, making it possible to build automobiles on a large scale. This concept, which became the foundation of modern manufacturing, allowed for increased efficiency and reduced costs. In 1901, Olds put his vision into action and launched the Oldsmobile Curve Dash, the world's first mass-produced automobile. This milestone achievement marked a turning point in the automotive industry and set the stage for the future of car manufacturing. Ransom E. Olds' contributions to the American automotive industry cannot be overstated. Not only did he bring innovation to the design and production of cars, but he also paved the way for the accessibility and affordability of automobiles for the masses. His legacy lives on through the iconic brands that bear his name, Oldsmobile and R.O. Ransom E. Old's story is a testament to the power of innovation and the lasting impact one person can have on an entire industry. In the late 19th century, Ransom Olds ventured into the world of automobiles, founding the Olds Motor Vehicle Company in Lansing, Michigan, in 1897. Two years later, the company was acquired by Samuel L. Smith, a prominent businessman, and renamed Olds Motor Works. With Smith as president and Olds as vice president and general manager, the company relocated to Detroit, Michigan. Olds was an innovator, and by 1901, he had developed prototypes of vehicles powered by steam, electricity, and gasoline. His forward-thinking mindset led him to receive a patent for a diesel engine in 1934, making him the only American automotive pioneer to produce and sell automobiles in each mode of power. However, in a twist of fate, disaster struck in 1901 when the Olds Motor Works factory burned down, leaving only one model, the curved dash runabout, unscathed. Olds claimed that it was the fire that convinced him to put the runabout into production, but some questioned the accuracy of this story. Regardless, the curved dash had already garnered significant attention and orders before the fire, thanks to a successful advertising campaign. Undeterred by the setback, Olds sent his test driver, Roy Chapin, on a daring journey in the curved dash runabout to the New York Automobile Show. Chapin, faced with treacherous state roads, decided to take a detour onto the Erie Canal towpath. After an arduous eight-day journey, he arrived at the prestigious Waldorf Astoria Hotel, only to be turned away due to his mud-covered appearance. At the auto show, Old seized the opportunity to boost sales. When a dealer offered to purchase 500 cars, Olds boldly challenged them to order a thousand, knowing that it would create a buzz and capture the public's attention. Though the dealer eventually sold only 750 cars, the original number became legendary. The curved Dash Oldsmobile, priced at $650, became a huge success. With approximately 600 sold in 1901, over 3,000 in 1902, and at least 4,000 in 1904, it became the first mass-produced, affordable American motor vehicle, overshadowing even Henry Ford's Model T. Despite his achievements, tensions arose between Olds and Smith's son, Frederick L. Smith. In 1904, Fred Smith removed Olds from his position, leading Olds to leave the company and establish the R.E. Olds Motor Car Company, quickly renamed R.E.O. Motor Car Company to avoid legal issues. Olds served as president and later chairman of R.E.O. The band R.E.O. Speedwagon even took their name from the R.E.O. Speedwagon, a light delivery truck produced by the company. Olds' original company, Olds Motor Works, was eventually acquired by General Motors in 1908. Sadly, after a remarkable 107-year run, General Motors discontinued the Oldsmobile brand in 2004. In 1946, Ransom Olds embarked on a new venture, starting the lawn mower division of R.E.O. Motors, manufacturing lawnmowers. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.